Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder Pat Trading Partners along with Bob Iacchino. So big downward move in the cryptos, breaking below the key support right now. Updated a lot of levels already. So we have some key retracements on here based off this spike low. Uh, looks like it might hold for a bit, deeply oversold conditions. Trading just below the 12.5% retracement, coming up testing that, uh, that was 75.23. If we do rally back up to the rotation zone, we're looking at around uh, 77.88 77 to uh, 7,800 first level. Then the next area we'd be watching is this prior support shelf, turning into resistance right around 7,900. So those are our key levels we're watching. If we turn around and go lower, we already hit, we had a 12.5% GAN projection. That's back from these lows. You can see here these lows. Let me zoom in again. These lows back in uh, September. So we had the 12.5, 73.36, spiking down right near that level. If we go around, turn around, and now the projections also from this low. So we have a minor cluster, 7148, major area, major cluster with the 12, the 125, two sets of 125 from different lows. We're looking at around 69.70. So I'm just going to call it 7,000. Those are our next key levels down below. Going over to the daily chart daily chart you can see breaking below the lows that held in september end of september and again in october now breaking below those this was a pretty much a one two three four bottom remember when i said it was a three bottom it was most likely to favor a continuation pattern slightly with the odds coming up to the rotation zone dropping down back in the rotation zone and then rotating strongly down. Not yet an oversold condition on the daily, so this can definitely head lower. Keep that in mind. Your key levels based off the daily chart on any strong rally, uh, about 79.25 first level of resistance and then major resistance coming in about 82.50 area. Switching over to Ethereum, Ethereum also dropping pretty strongly through our levels, already moved the levels down. This retesting, actually the lows, it did not get below the lows on September 26th. So, so far those lows have held in Ethereum. Returning, we've already done a 12.5% bounce back. Key resistance now coming in, about 165 where the rotation zone comes in and the 25% GAN level retracement. And then if we rally through there, we'll be watching for about 170. Those are the key levels. Now, if we turn around and these lows don't hold, deeply oversold condition. So we're going to watch, remember, when we get that oversold, we either drift sideways and let the 8 catch up, or we return a nice little rally into the rotation zone. So far, we're just moving sideways. If we continue to lose sideways, watch what happens when the 8 comes down to see if 8 pushing the price lower. Uh, pretty good buying coming in here based off those lows, but if those lows don't hold, then there'll be some more liquidation, so we could get the further push down. Next key levels projected lower, 148.75, then 143.30. Switching over to the daily chart, you can see again, we had some lows back in here. Let's look to see where the key resistance is off the daily chart. So first level key resistance we'll be watching is right around 171. And then that's where the declining rotation zone and this prior support shelf becoming resistance. If we did get through there, we'd be looking for about 176.50. Lots of volume ramping up on this sell-off. And now we're getting a separation in the rotation zone, so we can start watching any move that returns to rotation zone will be a possible short for a rotation lower. So what we have for you in Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.